why buy a new riding vest when you could just make one real nice out of your old favorite denim jacket. Damn it! So if you've been following my channel a while, you know that I usually wear um, the trademark black denim jacket and a black cowboy hat. Okay, um, years ago when I used to ride, I didn't wear a vest. The people I rode with did not wear vests. Um, we wore a t-shirt, no gloves if it was hot, and we'd have a jacket if it was cooler out and we were going to go for a ride. But now um, I really want to put together a nice vest for myself because, you know, if you're a club member, the vest has a few different functions. You know, the back is exclusively for the three-piece patch set that designates your club, uh, the state you're in, and then the center insignia. And that also goes for orgs and associations and things like that, um, although it's not going to be a three-piece on orgs and associations most of the time um, but for me for the average rider I think the vest really is a bulletin board to pin up all your memories when you go someplace to a rally or something like that you're gonna pick up a patch or maybe there's a really cool bar you go to a biker bar and they have patches for sale and you might pick up a patch there and you're gonna put them on your jacket and it's gonna be your memories you're gonna look at that jacket on certain days and you're gonna remember all these awesome places you were uh, that's a burp sorry um, so I figured it's time for me to put together a vest all right keep driving loud um, so I took my old favorite denim jacket and I went on the internet and I looked on I looked up how to turn a denim jacket into a vest and I didn't find much it was all arts and crafts stuff like they tell you to cut off the sleeve and then but leave a quarter or a half inch around it past the seam and then it showed them picking that quarter inch apart to give it all strandy and frilly look you know make it look broken all right I cut it right as close to the seam as I can get it and if this thing wears out and it starts to fall apart I've earned it okay I've broken it in I have wore it out I'll stitch it up I'll keep it together as best I can so basically what I did was I cut the buttons off carefully I cut around the buttons and left little holes off the front of the jacket and then I bought grommets so basically a grommet is two parts there's the bottom part or the part that shows on the inside and it has a longer neck and then there's a top part and it has these teeth which grab the fabric I don't know if you can see that at all and then there's the grommet tool um, which is a bottom part or the base I call it the donut and then the top part that you hammer down onto the grommet to get it to curl and flange around itself um, I don't know what it's called I call it a stipple so you got a stipple and a donut so basically I carefully cut around the buttons so it left a small hole because if you go too big the grommet won't be able to grab all the fabric around the hole and you'll have a grommet hole and you'll have a little hole next to it in the denim so you have to be careful about the size of the hole the button holes were perfect for the grommet size which I believe were 7 16 inch grommets okay so I went down and I grommeted it both sides then I went out to Harbor Freight and I bought these chain connectors it's like a removable chain link All right you unscrew the one side and when it opens up you can kind of hook two chains together and then tighten it down and I bought these things which I still don't know how to properly pronounce um, Caribbeners Carabiners I don't know. So I bought some carabiniers and basically I hooked 
the carabiner on the one side and the chain link on the other side so you have a, an attachment point where you can open or close it. And it's pretty cool because nobody rides with a vest buttoned up, okay? It's, it's always open because you want airflow through. And eventually I'm going to cut down the sides of the vest here and I'm going to add small grommets down each side and I'm going to get like black paracord and lace it up so you'll have air movement through the front and out the sides. So I went to Harbor Freight and I got these and basically um, I opened up the chain link and added it on one side and then the carabiner just got hooked through like this. Shit, I am butterfingers tonight. So basically like this, so that when you want to hook it up, it's just a quick slap and it's together. All right, it's very easy if you look. Carabiner, carabiner, chain link, it's together. And it gives it a pretty cool look, okay? And you can begin to put all kinds of stuff on it. Now this has been on it since it was a jacket. Um, it's a piece, it's a support pin from a local clubhouse where I went to a party this summer. Um, I'm gonna make a video on that eventually, but I have to reach out to the right members and get the proper permissions and guidelines of what I can actually post. I did get permission to take a picture or two um, and some film footage, but it was implied, I think, for personal use. So I may post that video if I get the proper permissions, okay? So basically, I'm going to start putting patches on it. You know, I ordered the obligatory, you know, Angry Boomer patch. And uh, this is the first patch that's going on, though, because my daughter is very crafty, and I love her so much. And she knows I love the um, Yellowstone series. And I cut the legs off of a pair of blue jeans to make shorts last summer. And I tossed the legs into a room and I said, you know, you think you could use these for crafts in the future? And she's like, yeah, maybe I'll take them. But when I opened up one of my Christmas presents, she had made me this beautiful Yellowstone patch. Because John Dutton doesn't give a crap about you. But he will. So anyway, um, this is going to be the first to go on. It's going to go on the upper left shoulder. And this is going to go on the right side. Um, FYI, you're not going to see my eyes for a while on a video because um, the story they're going to tell, I'm not going to want to answer to. So it's going to be glasses on for a while. So next I'm going to show you how to properly place and install a grommet. So this part's simple. Basically, you take your donut part, or the bottom or the base part of your stipple tool, your, your grommet tool, and you place it down first. You find a firm surface. This is a log. I wasn't going to try it on that glass table. Then take, now I'm going to use the sleeve off of my old jacket that I cut off because I'm going to use the buttonhole as a demonstration. Now take the bottom piece. It's the piece with the neck. If you can see it, it sticks up and you're going to go up through the buttonhole and you'll see how that fits fairly tight in that buttonhole right there. Once you've done that, you put that on the donut part and you hold it down like that because there's a little ridge in the donut which will hold it center. Okay, so you put that down and then you hold it and then you take the top part with the teeth in it and you put it over top and you sort of line it up so it's centered and you push down a little bit on it. Now, you can see that I have centered that pretty well and put it back down on the donut. And then you take what I call the stipple. Oh, for crying out loud. It's worse than Pro Monkey's house around here with the noise. You take your stipple here and you put the, the nipple of your stipple into the hole down toward the donut and it only takes a couple whacks um, a couple good shots to get it on there I like to do three or four 
but may, two may do it, but I never look to see. So we're going to whack it three times, or four, ah, five for good measure. And look at that, you have a grommet. That's the inside, and that's the outside, and that's where you're going to put your attachments. The little uh, uh, replaceable chain link and your caribbiners are going to go on each side. So that's easy. And like I guessed earlier, it was um, 7 16 inch grommets, which are good because um, those standard carabiners fit in there and so do those chain links. Um, and you don't have to use those. Shop around. Find some cool hardware, some chain or whatever, and hook it in the front of your vest. But this part was simple. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please click, like, and subscribe. Watch some of my videos below. And until next time, keep the top side of your dealios up. This has been an Angry Boomer production.